Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, my name is Miriam I make videos about fashion and fitness This video has been requested to me multiple times Ever since I posted my day in the life in business school And also my graduation vlog I totally get that picking a university Or deciding on which university to go to Can be a very 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 nerve wracking And almost confusing experience or journey I am aware that there aren't a lot of halt university reviews out there And I haven't watched any of them personally because I wanted this video to be fully unbiased and just like my own personal experience I will also share with you guys some of the thoughts that some of my classmates have shared with me because I did reach out to a few of my classmates telling them that I was going to be filming this video and they were really kind enough to give me some of their thoughts by the end of this video you guys will know my personal experience and my personal opinions about HALT International Business School and also some of my classmates I will briefly touch on a bit of everything in the university if I were to touch on every single thing about this university then this video would have been too long if there are any questions or any gray areas in this video that you want me to talk more about feel free to comment down below or maybe even dm me on instagram quite a few of you actually reached out to me on my instagram asking me to film this very video that i'm filming right now because like i said before picking a university is difficult and if i were in your position i would have really appreciated having a video like this prior to joining cult if you appreciate content like this please make sure to subscribe and give me a follow on instagram and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I attended the postgraduate campus here in London for one year. I studied the Master's in International Marketing, the MIM program. Prior to doing my one-year Master's at Hull, I was at Istituto Barangoni, which is a fashion school here in London. I did my bachelor's there in fashion business. I do have three separate videos about Marangoni. There's my experience at Marangoni and then two other FAQs of part one and part two. In case you guys were wondering, I also have videos about my undergrad. So I did my degree in fashion business and after that I realized that I wasn't fully ready to go out there in the whole working space. So I decided to continue my studies by doing a master's in international marketing. I joined the university at a rather young age. I was 21 at the time, I had just turned 21. So that's kind of young. There were some students in my cohort that were in their 30s or late 20s. So I think I was definitely one of the youngest ones there. The student body is very like diverse. There are a lot of students from different age groups because I feel like with masters, it's really something that people tend to do later on in their career. But my personal choice was to just get all my education done in one go. So I can just like head out there and start working and then never look back type thing. So that's what I did. In short, I have a background in fashion. I only want to halt for postgraduate. In case you guys have questions regarding undergrad, unfortunately, I won't be able to be of much help. The postgraduate campus is completely different to the undergraduate campus. Unfortunately, I was class of 2021. So what's unfortunate about that is that most of my learning was e-learning because of the pandemic, of course. The very first two or three months of uni was on campus, which was really nice to have the whole university experience. However, the middle big chunk of term two was online, so that was a little unfortunate. But nonetheless, there's still lots to unpack. So the whole application process is really a smooth and easy process for Hull. It was pretty seamless, I would say. It was very easy to get in. With my undergrad university, I did not have an interview to get into the uni. However, with HALT, I did have an interview. I think that's quite common in a master's course. You tend to have to give an interview, which honestly, I remember feeling really nervous about, but it's not that bad. They're really nice and really supportive. They're not really intimidating. Faculty there are really nice. So that was a bit of the introduction. Now let's just dive straight into my experience and the things that I liked about the university. What I really liked was the fact that we did not have any written exam. So the way we were tested were through assignments. So we would have two assignments with every single subject. So we'd have one individual and one group assignment. Obviously the individual one had more weight to it. Also one of the things that I really liked was that you are taught one subject at a time. You really get to like immerse yourself in a particular subject before you are introduced to the next subject, which I really liked about this university. For example, with undergrad or like with most universities, you are taught like four to five subjects at the same time. However, at HALT, you are taught one subject for about two weeks and then you're tested on it and then you move on to the next subject. So you really get to specialize and get a whole like immersive experience with one particular subject at a time. Some students don't really enjoy this way of learning, but I personally really liked it. I like to be able to focus on one subject at a time. I have mentioned that with each and every subject, you also have a group assignment. The group assignment is with every single course that you do. I don't remember any course that did not involve group work. So all 
obviously you really are forced to always work and collaborate with other people and this is something that is a hit or miss I mean sometimes you are blessed with like the best team ever and everything runs smoothly but sometimes you're not as lucky and you have to work with really difficult people this can really just like prep you for the real work life I mean not everyone you're going to work with is going to be easy to work with you know what I mean so the fact that you're always working on projects in a group setting and for every single subject really helps you fine-tune your people skills and really understand how to work with different people especially how to work with difficult people I mean there were times where it was really difficult to collaborate with certain team members you know because some students aren't as motivated as others but I feel like that's not particularly to do with HALT I think that's generally the scene in most universities like there are always going to be some students that generally don't care as much so that is a pain point but I just think that on its own also is in a way teaching you just how to like work better and just like how to adapt in team settings one other thing that I really like about HALT is something that they also tend to advertise about themselves a lot and it's to do with their practical learning so what I really liked is the fact that all the assignments that we were doing was not really theory based it was mainly almost 90% I would say case study based so you really get to have a practical approach to everything that you're learning and you're working on so everything feels more real we're also really big with growth mindset at HALT I remember the very first lecture or the orientation that we were taught about what the growth mindset is and how we're going to be revisiting it in every single subject that we study basically to summarize what the growth mindset is it's basically like your human becomings over human being all that type of stuff I mean you guys know what I mean I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean what I also really liked about the university is that the professors genuinely care about students most professors should I say like for example we get like random tips in class that were actually really useful I remember this one tip we got in class one time was to do with like a tip regarding when you were in a networking space like how to make sure that people that you talk to remember you I remember a professor saying something like oh whenever you're like talking to someone in a networking space make sure that you present yourself in a way that will prompt the other person to ask you a question because when someone asks you a question it's more likely that they're going to remember you because when we're asking questions our brain is more active rather than when we're just like listening to things we're more passive if that makes sense so I basically work in management consultancy in fashion currently and if someone were to ask me like oh so where do you work or what do you work at instead of saying my actual job title which might sound a bit boring or a bit bland to someone who's used to hearing like you know job title and say a networking event instead of saying my actual job title it would be better to say something like you know oh, I don't know like oh I'm an idea editor you know it's something like that someone that's gonna prompt the other person to ask you a question or just like make them curious because that's what's gonna help them remember you and that's really key when it comes to networking because we all know I mean networking is the biggest thing ever if you know how to network effectively I mean that just opens a lot of doors for you so every now and then you just get like these really good tips from your professor who generally want to see you do well if you really are engaging in class you will probably get to pick up on some really good and impactful tips if you already applied to HALT or if you're like researching HALT I feel like it's very easy to come across the fact that the university prides itself in being very diverse they really are really and truly not only diverse in terms of like nationalities and ethnicities but like also like the backgrounds of like different courses that people come from it was so nice to generally meet people from different ethnicities different backgrounds in terms of nationalities and also in terms of like job backgrounds that was a really nice quality about the university I personally am born and raised in the UAE which is already really diverse I grew up in Dubai I went to an international school so I was always surrounded by really you know international people and then moving to London I was in a pretty much multicultural city however going to HALT it kind of felt like everything was on steroids like everyone was just from everywhere I don't like to use fluffy words like you know CQ and EQ but your emotional intelligence and your cultural intelligence you really get to exercise that when you're working with different people and that's one thing that's gonna prep you for the real world when they say that they're actually gonna give you the practical learning experience they actually mean it with you know the type of work you're doing with assignments them being case studies based and also the fact that you're getting to work with different people from different nationalities that's something that I genuinely really wanted to experience because I think it varies for everyone but for me like being someone who comes from fashion it's a very like diverse space like you're working with people from different nationalities I wanted to be able to exercise that in a university setting and to you know you really just like fine-tune my skills so it can just be more or feel more effortless to me when I'm working in fashion in the real world HALT does offer a lot of opportunities to really exercise like your leadership type skills they do offer a lot of like growth opportunities like for example run for HSA which is basically HALT student association it's pretty much what a student rep would do it's pretty much like a student rep they offer for you also the opportunity to win the HALT prize
nice to work in groups for that. There's also an opportunity to, you know, be a TEDx speaker. There is a partnership with TEDx and HALT. So there are a lot of opportunities that you can take advantage of whilst being at HALT. However, it really needs to come from a place of proactiveness. Don't think that you can just be sat there and like all these opportunities will just come to you. It takes a lot of you like asking questions and really trying to like, you know, go after these opportunities. This is also something that a lot of my classmates said that HALT does offer a lot of like growth opportunities that, you know, will make your CV or LinkedIn profile really shine through. But it all comes down to you being proactive. I personally told myself prior to joining HALT that I wanted to take advantage of all the opportunities out there, you know, to show my initiative to future employers. Because one thing I will say is that like when you are in an interview setting and you're being asked questions like, oh, like, can you name a time where you took initiative or, you know, questions like that, unless you go after all these extracurricular activities at university or at school, you won't really have anything to talk about. That's something I really made sure that I went after. I ran for HSA because to run for HSA or a student rep, you have to have like a pitch to your students and the student body has to vote for you. So I was really flattered that my cohort voted for me to be the HSA. That's something that really helps me in interviews. For example, like, you know, when you have to have just something to talk about. What I'm trying to say is that go after opportunities. It doesn't matter if you fail or pass. The whole point is that you went after and you have something to talk about. So when it comes to the professors, most of the professors are really well versed with how to use Zoom. Like I mentioned before, a big chunk of my university experience was online. So there were times where some professors weren't as fluent with Zoom as you'd want them to be. That did hinder the learning experience a bit, causing unnecessary delays, etc. For the most part, most of the professors are well versed with Zoom. Also, in real life, most of them are really engaging and really fun to be in their classes. Most professors also are really and truly going above and beyond and bringing in really exciting guest speakers, which honestly, I would recommend everyone take advantage of when the guest speakers come in it's great to like connect with them on LinkedIn overall the teachers were good in my opinion some of them are amazing some of them aren't so good it can be a hit or miss for me personally that for the most part I enjoyed most of the classes I'd say like 65 to 70 percent if you're someone who has like a startup or your own business most teachers most professors will happily give you advice or even consult with you on your businesses so that's something I find really nice I mean they're really open and really willing to help you but the thing is that you really have to put yourself out there like the same thing I said before it really boils down to you being a very proactive student rather than being someone reactive now let's talk a bit about what the other students have to say or the other students opinions like I mentioned earlier on in this video I was the HSA for my year what that means is that like whenever any student had an issue they would generally raise their issues with me and then I would raise it with the faculty members so the reoccurring issues that I would hear from most students was the fact that we were having an online learning experience and obviously when everything is online you're not able to enjoy everything as you would in person so I do remember quite a few students were raising the issue of wanting to be reimbursed a certain amount of their money back which I totally understand I feel like it was just a very unfortunate situation with you know us being in lockdown and us not being able to have the best learning experience in person so that was one issue that was being constantly raised throughout the year my personal opinion is that like it's just unfortunate you know because like health can't really do anything about it because it was the government record relations to be online. I also understand why students were feeling disappointed that they weren't getting the product that they were almost like, you know, promised. That was a very unfortunate situation, but I feel like there's not much that could be said or done about it, but that's just something I thought I would share with you guys. Also, another point that a lot of my classmates shared with me was when it comes to careers, be proactive there as well. There are lots of optional career events that happen. For example, there are many optional workshops where you get to have a sometimes one-on-one -on -one and sometimes a group setting session with the careers team where they have interview workshops where you're basically in a like simulation type interview setting where they're asking you all the potential questions you could be asked in an interview being able to ace your interviews is so important and one thing I will say is that the careers team really gives you the tool to work on your interview skills but they can't obviously help you land the job that's all you but they really give you the tools however it really comes down to you to really like attending as many career workshops as you can the careers team really give you good tools on how to you know for example enhance your CV your LinkedIn and honestly LinkedIn is so important I remember before joining HALT like I really didn't understand the power of LinkedIn but genuinely it's so good they really teach you how to like use the good keywords for your industry and you know just like how to make sure your LinkedIn profile is really like reaching to the right set of people being a HALT graduate now I can genuinely say that having the HALT name on your LinkedIn profile or like being a HALT graduate will probably open doors for you I mean I've noticed that recruiters or even like interviewers like the fact that I've been to HALT and they like to 
asked me about it however because health is a disruptor in the education space basically like they're not very traditional they do things in a very new way most interviewers i've noticed like that and if you are a health graduate like it's good to have stories to talk about like for example your extracurricular activities because being a health graduate has this certain type of like brand in a way and if you are being asked about your health experience it would be nice to you know have experiences that are apart from your assignments or you know the day-to-day -day stuff like for example if you've done something like the tedx talk or if you know been part of the halt prize like it's always nice to have these points to talk on because this is really what sets you apart from everyone else the reason i was very fortunately able to land a job after halt was because of me really making use of the tools that the careers team would give us i really would make sure that my linkedin profile was on point and my cv was on point the cover letter is also really important we're really given good tools on how to like enhance you know your cover letter linkedin etc and whenever you would like make tweaks the careers team were, were always really happy to like go over it and review it with you so that was really good i mean me being someone who did a marketing course i feel like i kind of understood the importance of being able to market myself in a good way because you really need to learn how to market yourself whether you're a marketing student or not because that's really what getting a job is kind of about i mean how are you able to like communicate about your accomplishments etc you can have the best qualifications but until you're able to talk about it in a very like eloquent and engaging way it's kind of hard to get your step into the door to conclude overall i am really happy with my halt experience for me personally to judge whether a university is worth it or not is to see if they delivered on their promise that promise was you know to have a practical learning experience which honestly i think i had really practical learning experience like now as someone who's working work doesn't feel too foreign if that makes sense like i'm used to working on case studies anyways my job is a consultancy job the nature of my work revolves around case studies so me personally i really enjoy learning in a practical way where case studies were a big thing if there are any other points that you guys want me to go over that i haven't covered in this video feel free to comment them down below if i receive enough questions i probably will make another whole q a video about how or business school in general thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye you go